welcome to Functified Food. My name is Dan Valencourt. Today's episode is dedicated to something that's been a tradition in my family for generations, morel mushroom hunting. Now, the appeal of these mushrooms are, one, they're one of the most amazing tasting things that I've ever eaten in my whole life. Two, the season is only a few weeks of the year. And three, they're kind of hard to find, so it's a lot of fun and a challenge. Soon after the last hard frost of the spring, you'll start to see the first morels to pop up, the black morels. Uh, around this time, you'll notice wildflowers starting to bloom a little bit. You'll start to see the early ones like trillium blooming. You'll start to see some mayapple plants popping up. And this is how you know it's time for the black morels. The next ones that we'll find in the season are the gray morels, and these seasons will all overlap a little bit too. After the gray morels, you'll find the yellow, some people call them whites, some people call them golden. There's a lot of different names for all these. Um, it helps if you know where to look. Um, you can start looking in a hardwood forest that has uh, trees like ash, poplar, aspen, maple, uh, elm, especially dead or dying elm trees, apple trees like an old orchard. The next important thing is, is the soil. Uh, oftentimes they prefer soil that's uh, slightly sandy and uh, it, you want to not have any standing water, but you, you want it to be moist. Two things you have to know. You need a bag that's like a mesh bag, like an onion bag or a laundry bag to put your morels in as you walk around the woods. Two, uh, never pull a morel right out of the ground. You'll want to either cut it with a knife uh, just a little bit above the ground or just uh, pinch the stem off. Um, it'll save a lot of people from getting mad at you. Now morels, they grow on the ground, so they're gonna probably need to be cleaned. If it looks like there's a lot of bugs, what a lot of people do is they'll cut them lengthwise and then they'll soak them for about 20 minutes in salt water. And that just helps draw out the bugs. After you wash your morels, you wanna lay them out on a paper towel so it will help the excess water drain. And then you have three things you can do with them. You can either eat them, which is my favorite thing to do with them. Uh, you can put them in the refrigerator for a couple days, just cover them with a damp paper towel and they should be okay. Or you can preserve them by either drying them or flash freezing them or par cooking them and then putting them in the freezer. Just remember when you put them in the freezer, you want to put them in airtight containers. Now there's a lot of different ways to cook them. People are stuffing them, put them in risotto, put them on pizza, all these different things. But um, you got to try them just the classic way, sauteed in butter. It's got to be butter. Butter is really the way to bring out the flavor of the morel. You can either just saute them in butter or you can just lightly flour them and then pan fry them in butter. And the flavor is like nothing you've ever tasted it. And no other mushroom with the exception of maybe truffle even starts to compare to a morel mushroom. If it's your first time out in the woods looking for morels, please take someone with you who knows what to look for because there are false morels. Every year people pick the wrong mushrooms and eat them and you can get very, very sick or even die from eating the wrong ones. A true morel is hollow throughout the whole stem, and uh, most of the false ones have sort of this like cotton candy-like looking substance in the middle, and they have what looks more like a, a skirt. It's not attached at the bottom of the cap. Now this season, I've spent dozens of hours out in the woods looking for morels, and sometimes you know you'll go an hour or maybe even a couple hours with with only finding a few. So the footage that you're seeing is kind of like the sports center of morel hunting. Uh, you're you're just seeing some of the bigger finds that I found all in one spot. This is Functified Food. My name is still Dan Valencourt. I'll see you in the woods, but not in my secret spots. No, for real. Not Don't, don't follow me, though. No. Th those are my morals. <laughs>